So Amouage is one of those brands where no matter how you slice it, all of their fragrances last an incredibly long amount of time. Even some of their brighter, more citrus heavy releases like Reflection and Beach Hut, they give you superb longevity, performance and projection as well. In today's episode, I'm gonna be going over the 10 longest lasting Amouage fragrances. All of these are gonna get you 10 plus hours, so make sure to stay tuned. Before I begin today's episode and I tell you about these 10 longest lasting Beast Mode Amouage fragrances, this is an amazing brand out of Oman. Before I start the video, I want to mention that if you're a fan of fragrance related content, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and also please give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. It would really mean a lot to me. So if you are like me where you do value fragrances that last a long time, of course, at the end of the day, we don't want to apply something just for it to disappear in two hours. These are fragrances that are going to give you monstrous longevity. They all do incredibly well. And the first one that I want to talk about is Fate. Now, the thing about Fate is that it has a cumin note in here. So this one is a little bit on the spicy, dare I even say animalic side of things. I know this is a fragrance that has kind of a love-hate relationship with a lot of people, but personally, I think it's a beautiful fragrance, gorgeous bottle. And if you have the opportunity to try this one, it is going to be on the darker side of things. And I would say this one is gonna get you in the vein of 10 hours. Of course, we also have Enclave, which has mint and vanilla and the sweet resins. This one, way over 10 hours. Projection is much better than Fate on account of some more volatile ingredients that are in here. But this one is great, formal, casual. It will turn heads. It's not as challenging as Fate though. We also do have Epic. If you are a fan of spices, you are in luck. This is one of Amouage's spiciest offerings on the market. It's quite peppery. There's a lot to love in here. It's not as spicy as something like Honor. Honor is very peppery. This has saffron, it has some other spices working in there, but it truly is a magical and mysterious fragrance. We have Material. This is a Cecile Zerokian composition, one of the most beautiful amber fragrances you can try. So the projection isn't going to be as loud as some of their other fragrances, but the longevity is certainly there. And that's because a lot of the ingredients included therein have a larger molecular structure on account of them being base notes. So it is going to last a very long time. Material is, again, one of the most amazing, most grounding and meditative amber fragrances that you could possibly own. Of course, Memoir, this one is an Artemisia slash Wormwood type of a fragrance. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, dark, mysterious, brooding, gothic. Definitely one that gives you a lot to love about it. We also have Boundless. Boundless is a beautiful, sweet leaning tobacco fragrance, but it still has this mysterious quality about it. It's not going to be as meditative per se as this one, but this one is, again, you know, very mysterious. You give this air of enigma, which is a really, really beautiful fragrance. Of course, we also have this unique gem. This is Silver Oud. So this is dark, it's smoky, it's a lot more challenging, I would say, than Fate for Men, uh, but also the performance is way up there, 12 plus hours. If you spray it on clothing, forget about it. It's going to last you for the entire day. Of course, we also have this brand new release, Jubilation 40. Of course, this is to commemorate the 40 year anniversary of the brand. This has sweet myrrh and blackberry and agarwood and spices. It is a beautiful composition by Bertrand Duchafour, one of the best perfumers in the industry. Opus 14, this is royal tobacco. So this is tobacco and spice with some heavy, heavy woods. Again, the brand taking things in a very, very dark direction. And it seems like every time the brand releases one of these darker fragrances, people tend to say how they're going back to their quote unquote roots. I think the brand has perpetually put out dark and heavy fragrances, even with some of their lighter offerings. But of course, if we're talking about something like Royal Tobacco, I mean, way over 12 hours, I wouldn't wear it casually. One of their most challenging fragrances, definitely best for a suit and tie scenario. If you're dressed up, colder weather, forget about it. 
And the fragrance in the number one spot, I'm telling you right now, it doesn't matter which variation you purchase, which flanker you purchase of this fragrance, they are all going to give you spectacular longevity and yes, performance, projection, all of it, right? Lock, stock, and barrel. Uh, this fragrance, it's dark, it's smoky, it's herbal. It has a little bit of a, a culinary vibe. There's an oregano note in here, tons and tons of smoke very dark you do have this resinous benzoin type of a dry down composed by pierre negrin the same uh, perfumer who did encounter for men by calvin klein this one is interlude for men if you're looking for dark you're not going to get anything darker than interlude for men of course there are some other opus fragrances from the brand that are quite dark and heavy of course there are some that lean a little animalic like gold of course you do have others that are quite challenging in terms of their compositional nature but if we're talking strictly performance not dna but performance interlude for men by far dark smoky super super mysterious and gothic and it is going to turn heads without a shadow of a doubt not necessarily because people are going to turn and say oh my god who smells so good but because they're going to turn their heads and say what is that right like you're really going to pique someone's attention in any case thank you so much for joining me today the 10 longest lasting beast mode um wash fragrances anything you get from this brand is going to be incredibly long lasting but I'm always interested in hearing what your experience is. What have you found to be the longest lasting Amwash fragrances? Drop your comment down below. I always love the interaction. And of course, if you took anything of value from today's video, hit subscribe, hit the bell, and also please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you again for watching. I love you all, and we'll see you tomorrow with a new episode. Bye.